Hello, hello. Good evening, everybody. How are you today? Hello, Arlen. Hello, Emerson. Hello, Amilcar, Lila, Elvi. Welcome. Thank you very much for being here, okay? Uh, just just uh, let us wait like a couple of minutes in order that people can come uh, and connect, okay? Can you hear me? Hola, hola. Buenas noches. Me pueden escuchar. Sí, excellent, escuchamos. excellent. I'm very glad you're here, my dears. You are very, very early today. So we are going to, to wait just a couple of minutes in order that people join us, okay? Thank you. It's okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, excellent. I am back. I hope that many, um, most of the people can connect uh, because uh, there's some, a little, there's a little bit rain in some places of El Salvador. So I hope that it doesn't affect you and that all of you can connect uh, to the class. Okay, in honor to you that you're early, I would like to ask you, uh, were you able to complete the homework? Pudimos completar la tarea, the exercise. You remember? Okay, let me share. Okay, if you remember last night we studied uh, prepositions, right? Do you remember? ¿Se recuerdan? Yes. Last night we introduced prepositions of place, right? If you remember, we mentioned the definition of a preposition, right? We show that we have a lot of prepositions, different prepositions, but we said that we are going to focus on uh, prepositions of time and place at, in, on, which are the ones that appear uh, evaluated in a platform. However, I gave you uh, all the information, but uh, the exercise that I gave you in order to finish was based on on, at, in, okay? So uh, we said that we use on to talk about, uh, to say, for example, on time. The class is started on time. Uh, we are going to start classes on Monday. On the 25th of December, we will celebrate Christmas. At Christmas, we are going to have a party. At the end of the month, we are going to finish our report. At the weekend, we are going to rest. At 10 o'clock, I'm going to go to bed. In summer, it's a good time to go to the beach. In 2020, we work from home. In the morning, we are going to go to our workplaces. In a few days, we are going to celebrate Christmas and New Year's Eve, okay? So those are examples of sentences using prepositions of time on, at, in. And last night, we studied this uh, pyramid. This is an inverted pyramid, uh, which explains um, when we use the preposition in for place, but also for time. And we explained that in is a very general preposition, right? And regarding to time, we use it to talk about centuries, decades, years, months, weeks, seasons, periods of time, 
uh, holidays and parts of the day. And last night we also said that uh, as a preposition of place, we use in to talk about country, city, neighborhood, and enclosed spaces, okay? So uh, we also learned that we use on for smaller places, right? Or a specific dates. For example, for place, we use on to talk about streets, avenues, dates, surfaces, means of transport or communications. And for holidays, um, we use um, the preposition on for holidays with the word day. For example, on Easter day, uh, to talk about day, dates, specific days like my birthday. On my birthday, we are going to celebrate with a cake. Time, right, on the weekend. A day plus part of the day. On Sunday morning, we go to church. And we conclude with at, and we said that we use at as a preposition of time to talk about hours, parts of the day, time, holidays without, without in this case, with no word day. For example, in Easter. And we used um, at for address, and for a specific locations when we talk about places. Okay, we also study a little bit more prepositions. And then we went to the exercise that we couldn't complete. Concrete. So I would like to ask how many of you complete this part? Okay. For example, let me ask um, Arling Amaya. What time do you usually get up in the morning? Let's see. If you ask me, I say in the morning I get up at, at six o'clock. Okay, and that's my answer. What about you, Arlene? What time do you usually get up in the morning? No sé si Arlene nos escucha. Ok, eh, another volunteer. Necesitamos otro voluntario que nos quiera decir what time do you usually get up in the morning? Yo, teacher. Ok, please, go ahead. Eh, I am a milker. Hmm? I couldn't I hear, a... excuse me. I am a milker. Ok, a milker, please, go ahead. Ok. Eh, are you going to answer me? I'm going to ask you, what time, Amilcar, what time do you usually get up in the morning? I usually uh, get up uh, at four o'clock in the, in the morning. Wow, so early. Thank yes. you, Amilcar. Thank you. Okay. okay, let me ask someone else. Thank you, Amilcar. Let me ask uh, Patricia Flores. Patricia Flores, at what time do you usually go to work? <laughs> Number two. At what time do you usually go to work? ¿A qué hora usualmente va a trabajar? Or to school or university? Um, um, work usually in five o'clock. Okay. Uh, you usually uh, go to work at five o'clock in the morning, very early. Thank you, Pat. Okay, Briselda Castro. What time do you usually, what do you usually do on weekend, af on weekday afternoon? Weekday afternoon, son como los días de semana, verdad? Por las tardes. Yes, um, I usually in the um, weekend, weekday afternoon, I work. You work. I work today. Okay. And thank you. Okay, Rene Mauricio. Uh, do you always sit lunch uh, at noon? Noon es mediodía, ¿verdad? Do you usually eat lunch lunch at noon? Usualmente almuerza al mediodía? Okay. If you ask me, I say yes, 
I usually or I always eat at lunch. Eat at noon. Eat lunch at noon. And if you ask me what do you usually eat, I can say sometimes I eat chicken, sometimes I eat different, right? Okay, number five. Um, do you ever take a nap in the afternoon? A nap. A nap es una siesta, ¿verdad? Entonces, vean que estamos utilizando in the afternoon, en una parte del día. In the afternoon, en la tarde. Okay? So, let me ask the next. Is your birthday in June, Rita? No. I am birthday in May. May, May. In May, okay. You say no. May. My birthday May. is in May. Okay. Excellent. Uh, let me see. Dennis Mancilla. What do you like to do to relax at bedtime? Let's see. ¿Qué hace para a la hora de dormir? So, maybe you can say I watch TV or I watch Facebook or maybe I listen to music or I just fall asleep or simplemente me duermo, ¿verdad? <laughs> okay. Um, mm -hmm. I'm late to music. Okay, you listen to music. Excellent. You listen to music. Excellent. Thank you. Okay. Uh, because of the time, I'm, thank you, thank you, Dennis. Uh, because of the time, I'm going to stop here, but I want to show you uh, the idea of this exercise was to use the prepositions in context. For example, in the morning, at what time? Uh, on weekday afternoons, at noon, in the afternoon, in June at bedtime, on Tuesday afternoon, in winter, okay, at night, okay? So those are the prepositions in context in a specific question that you already answered. So let me go and continue in order to close this topic. Uh, here, I have um, another example, and I gave you the chart that says at, in, on. And last night we said, this is at night, at 10.30, at noon or midday, at midnight, at bedtime, at sunrise, at sunset, the, at the weekend in the UK, right? Because in the, in the US they say on the weekend. In the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, in February, in the spring, in the summer, in the fall or autumn, in the winter. In 2013, in the 1990s, in a few minutes, on Sunday, on Sunday morning, on Tuesday afternoon, on Wednesday evening, on my birthday, on a holiday, on Christmas Day, on May the 5th, on, on a weekday, on time, at the weekend in the US, right? So for example, here, uh, the idea is to answer these questions with at, in, on. In the first ex exercise, the first sentence says, my brother has a new job. He works in the evening. So when I see the word evening, I come here and say, ah, oh, yes. It's a part of the day, so it's in, okay? Number two, uh, volunteers. Uh, who solved this uh, exercise? ¿Quiénes resolvieron el ejercicio? Vamos a ver. May I see your hands raised? Si podemos levantar la mano, quienes lo hicieron? Y no les da, ok, my friend, que es, dice Lenovo, I, I apologize because I don't know your name, my dear. Can you tell us? Ricardo Cerritos. Ricardo, Ricardo, thank you. <laughs> Ricardo, uh, would you like to help us to solve some of this? Yes. Ok, number two, how is according to you? Ok. I would like that you can read the whole sentence using the preposition, right? On Sunday afternoon, on Saturday afternoon. But yeah, but would you like to read the whole sentence, please? 
We are going. We're going, we're going to, to have a picnic on Saturday afternoon. Would you like to come? Excellent. Thank you. It's like an invitation, right? We're saying that we are going to have a picnic and Thank we are you. inviting you to go. Okay. Uh, and number three, do you have number three? You say, I'll be finishing my work. Mm -hmm. Uh, at an hour, an hour. Okay. In this case, maybe it's in an hour, right? Uh, maybe it's uh, in this category, right? Uh, oh. Because... Okay. Uh, like here, if you see it in here, it doesn't appear, right? Uh, but the uh, because it says in a few okay. minutes or maybe okay. in an hour, right? So in okay. an hour, okay? Uh, in a, in uh -huh. hour, an hour, mm -hmm. okay. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Thank you. Gracias. Who else? Who else uh, solved this exercise? ¿Quién más resolvió el ejercicio? Que me ayude con number four. Let's see. I cannot see your hands. Or you can say me, teacher. Me, me, teacher. Okay, thank you. I'm very happy. I have two me's. Okay, well, who, wants, who wants to start? A ver, díganme las chicas quién comienza. De Rita. Rita creo que dijo me. Okay, Rita, would you like to continue? When is the meeting? It is at two o'clock. Excellent, thank you. And number five, Rita? I, I, excuse me, excuse me, <laughs> okay. I like to get up really early. Really early. Really early. Mm -hmm. On sunrise. Okay. And the clear start to sing. Okay, uh, let's see, sunrise. Uh, only in this case I will correct you because sunrise is in at right? So it should be, I like to get up really early at sunrise, when the birds start to sing, al amanecer, ¿verdad? Cuando los pájaros comienzan a cantar. Entonces, si vemos sunrise, es, sunrise es aquí. Sería la única de corregir. Thank you, okay. Rita. Ok, let's see who else. Por ahí había otra compañera que me dijo, mi. Puse mi, sorry. No, no puedo ver quién dijo mi. Me, Briselda. Okay, uh, Briselda, thank you. Would you like to continue with the number six? Okay, um, so six the whole. Yes, please. Okay, um, Tom's perdón, birthday? Se me, se me quedó trabado aquí. No se preocupe. <laughs> uh, Tom's uh, birthday is next week, um, January. On January, no, perdón, in January 14. Ok, en ese caso sería on, como lo había dicho al inicio, estaba correcto. On January eh, 14, on. que tenemos ah, months. Perdón, months on January 14. Day. Yes, you were right at the beginning. El, el principio era el correcto, ok? Because it's May the 5th, for example, this okay. is May the 5th, in this case, January 14. In number 7, my father. My father was born in uh, the 19, uh, 19... 50s, 50s, 1950s. 50. <laughs> Excellent. 50s. It's like this My one. grandfather was 1950. Excellent. Thank you. Okay, I need more volunteers. Thank you, Briselda. Me, teacher. Okay, please, Amilcar, go ahead. Will we be on time or... Will we miss our flight? Excellent. Number nine. Me, me too. Yes, please. Uh, my family and I like to ski. Ski, to ski. Excuse me, to ski. Ski, ski. Sí, to ski on winter. To ski on winter. Okay. Okay. Excellent. Uh, Thank you, Amilcar. Do we have two last volunteers? Dos voluntarios más para terminar. Vamos a ver. Let's see. Me. Okay, please. Solo que no sé quién dijo me. Perdón que estoy. Tengo hasta abajo los, 
los controles. Eh, ¿Con quién? Perdón, tengo el gusto. Ahí está Karen. Adelante, sí. Karen. Sorry, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Yes, please. Are, Karen 11. Okay. Are there any holidays in October? Excellent. Very good. Number 11. Our school cafeteria opens for lunch at noon. Noon. At noon. noon. Okay. Excellent. Noon. Thank you. Do you have 12 and 13? De casualidad tiene las últimas dos para ya finalizar. Okay, yes. Please. Um, what time doesn't your son go to bed at night? Excellent. And number 13? We move it to the city in... To, puede decir 2012 or 2012, como usted guste. Okay, 2012. Okay, excellent. Thank you. We moved to this city in 2012. Thank you very much, Karen, and all the volunteers that participated in this exercise. So what I want to say is that I encourage you to continue practicing the prepositions of time and place, at, in, on, and that you can go to the platform and work also with the prepositions that are there, right? Uh, here we have more prepositions, right? And, and, and that you can continue practicing, right? So here uh, we have the example of the little uh, cats, right? In order to give you the example, and then we classify uh, the prepositions of time and place. Do you have questions so far about this topic? ¿Tenemos preguntas acerca de este tema? No, teacher. Okay, I think that, no, but, but just in case you have any questions, please let me know and write to the uh, WhatsApp group or write to me directly and I can uh, uh, help you in order to, that you can continue uh, practicing and that you can solve the platform exercise, okay? So for today, uh, we are going to continue with uh, the platform. So we are going to start now the section number three. Remember that this week, the challenge is to complete the section number three and also to complete the midterm exam. So the idea is that for Thursday, we could have like 15 minutes at the end of the class in order to show you the midterm exam and that you can have an idea of the possible answers we are not going to solve the whole test in the class but i will give you some clues for you to um, to do it in a very um, easy way and that uh, by the weekend you can finish right the, the section three including the midterm exam okay so for today uh, we are going to um, advance in the le lesson objective number three That, that says, in this class, you will listen to a, to a conversation titled, Are you from Seoul? This conversation illustrates yes, no questions with WH questions, which we'll, we, learn, we will learn in a future lessons. So basically is uh, to talk about uh, the place we are from and also yes, no questions and WH questions. Okay, so the video is there. So you can go to the platform and you can watch the video and uh, this conversation between Tim and Jessica. And Tim basically is asking, uh, are you from California, Jessica? Well, my family is in California now, but we are from Korea originally. Oh, my mother is Korean from Seoul. Are you from Seoul? No, we are not from Seoul. We are from Dijon. So is your first language Korea? Yes, it is. So if you see, they are in a conversation asking yes, no questions, right? Uh, in this case, um, they are using the verb be, right? For example, are you from California? Um, the other question is, uh, are you from Seoul? Is your first language Korean, right? So these three questions are yes, no questions because they only have two possible answers, yes or no. Okay, in the 3.2, it says, in this class, you will learn how to form negative statements and yes, no questions with be. Uh, we are going to continue studying this, even though we already started, but we are going to give like a fast review. And then 
you have negative statements and yes, no questions would be. And you have a video here where you can practice the structure and also to listen how to pronounce these yes, no questions. And in a 3.4, you will have this knowledge check, right? Again, in this knowledge check, you will notice that you have to complete in here, right? In here, you have to complete. And um, you, you need to make sure to see if we are talking about we, the logical answer is R. Hiroshi, are you and Maiko from Japan? Yes, we are. Okay. Oh, and say so you from from Kyoto. Again, look that this conversation continues. So the possible answer is are you? Okay. So you need to look for the logic on the conversation and see who is the subject of the conversation. Who are we talking about? No, we said not. So plural is we. No, we aren't or we are not, right? And then we, right? Again, because it's here, we are from Kyoto, okay? So this is the logic. No, le, no vamos a resolver todo el ejercicio aquí, pero la lógica es, en español rapidito para que quede claro, tenemos que seguir el hilo de la conversación, ¿verdad? Si aquí estamos hablando de we, entonces el, la parte del verb be que corresponde a we. ¿verdad? Y aquí seguimos hablando de nosotros, ¿verdad? Y aquí dice plural, porque no es I, es we. Ok, so let me stop here and I would like to go to the presentation that I have for you tonight. So let me open it. Ok, we are going to start with a simple present yes, no questions that we already studied in another lesson, but I just want to go and give a fast review before uh, going to the next topic about the nationalities and where are you from. So remember that to make affirmative, uh, to make questions with the verb be, basically what you have to do is to move the verb be at the beginning of the sentence. For example, here, am, am I happy? And then, since this is a yes, no question, I just have two possible answers. Yes, I am, that you can contract yes, I am in the spoken. Remember that the contraction is only in the spoken language. I'm going to mute you, my dears, in order that you can listen to me. Okay, whenever you need to open the mic, it's possible. Okay, am I happy? Yes, I am. No, I am not, or no, I am not. Are you at school? Remember, it's a yes, no question. You only have two possible answers, right? Okay. Yes, you are. Or no, you are not. Or no, you aren't, right? Is she hungry? Only two possible choices. Yes, she, she is. Or the contraction when we speak, yes, she is. Or no, she isn't. Is, is. I mean, is he, is he hungry? Yes, he is, or no, he isn't. Is it hungry? Talking about maybe an animal, maybe a cat, maybe a dog. Yes, it is, or yes, it's. No, it is not, no, it isn't. Are you students? Yes, you are, or yes, or yes, you're, right? Or no, you aren't. Okay, so let me move this. Okay, vamos a ver. So let me move this to other place. Okay, are we teachers? Yes, we are, right? No, we are not or no, we aren't. Are they quiet? Yes, they are or yes, they are, right? No, they are not or no, they aren't. Remember that all these questions that you elaborate with the verb be, am I, are you, is she, is he, is it, are you, are we, are they? They only have two possible choices, yes or no. That's why they are called yes, no questions. Okay, let's continue. So I will need some volunteers here 
in order that, uh, in order to solve this exercise. It says, complete these 16 sentences for your knowledge of yes, no questions, okay? So I need volunteers. For example, number one, you a student, and I have R, um, those are pairs, right? Is it possible that the answer is R, um, or do, do, or R, R? What do you think is the right answer? Letter A, letter B, or letter C? A. Okay, yes, because you say, are you a student? Yes, I am. So the right pair is R and am, um, letter A. That's correct, thank you. Okay, number two. Do your brothers study hard? No, they aren't, don't, or doesn't. Letter C, doesn't. Okay, look, in this case, thank you. We are talking about your brothers. So, um, uh, your brothers is they, and that's why we are using the auxiliary do. So, in this case, we follow the same auxiliary and we just add the negative, okay? So, no, they are no, don't. 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 Vea, estamos usando el auxiliar do. Entonces, mm -hmm. cuando voy a hacer la negación, mm -hmm. solamente le agrego el negativo, don't. ¿verdad? Es don't. Okay. Don't. Eh, remember that I told you that we, we are not studying do yet, but later we will do it. Todavía no hemos llegado, ¿verdad? A ver el, el presente simple con el verbo do. Lo vamos a hacer en los próximos eh, eh, capítulos, ¿verdad? En los próximos días. Pero eh, it's important that you remember, right? Uh, because this is the simple present. You can do the simple present with the verb be, am, um, is, are, or with do and does. Thank you. Number three. Your friend busy now? Yes, he? Is, is, does, is, are, does. What do you think is the answer? Yes, it hits. Okay, letter A, verdad? Is, is. Is your friend busy now? Yes, he is. It's Excellent. Number four. Does it usually snow in July? No, it. Down. Ok. En este caso, vea, como estamos hablando de it, y aquí tenemos el auxiliar does, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Agregarle el no negativo, sé. ¿verdad? Entonces, uh -huh. letter C. No, it doesn't. Yes. Right? Yes. Y esa es una respuesta corta yes. a la pregunta. Yes. ¿Usualmente nevo en julio? No, ¿verdad? Yes. Eh, number five. Is it 4.30? Yes, it? Does, am, um, or is? Yes. It's, it's, yes. It is. Yes, it's, it is. ¿Verdad? Estoy preguntando la hora. Vea que el auxiliar estoy usando acá es is. Is it for 30? Mm -hmm. Son las tres y media. Yes, it is. It's, it's. Oh, yes. Yes. Okay, so let me advance here. Number nine. You TV? Yes, I do. Are you are watch? Do watch are watches? Letter A, B, or C. Do what? Do what? Do, do, do you watch TV? Letter C. Do you watch TV? Do yes, watch. I do. Yes, I do. Number 10. Those, your books over there. Yes, they. R, R, do, do, does, does. A, B, C. Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. So it's A, right? Are those your books over there? Yes, they are. 11. Do you like to watch movies? Yes, I do, don't, am. Um. Vea que es I, pero la Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay, excellent. Number 12. I late. No, you. I'm um, don't. You aren't. I'm um, aren't. A, B, C. E, I mean, A, B, C. What do you think? 
Okay, a letter A, right? Um, am I late? Estoy tarde? No, you, pero en este caso sería letter C, ¿verdad? Porque estamos utilizando el verb be. Am I late? You are. No, you aren't. No, ¿verdad? No, no llegaste tarde. You aren't. Are you Patrick? Yes, I. Do, am, or does? Yes, I am. Yes, I am, ¿verdad? Yes, I am, porque I estamos am. utilizando el verb be. Ok, entonces yes, vea que en esos ejercicios es de verificar which is the auxiliary verb. ¿Cuál es el verbo auxiliar que estamos usando, verdad? In this case, no the answer, no I. A, B, C. Don't do, do, don't, are, don't. No, I don't. Uh -huh. Entonces sería letter B, ¿verdad? Utilizamos el auxiliar do acá para hacer la pregunta y decimos, do you know the answer? Y la respuesta sería, no, I don't, ¿verdad? So, letter B, no. letter B. Ok, next. Thomas here today? Yes, he. Does is, 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 does. B. Letter B, ¿verdad? Letter is B. Thomas here today? Yes, he is. Okay. Number eight. Do you always breakfast? Yes, I do. A, B, C. Eat, it's eating. Eating. Mm. Simple present. Little B. Little B. Ok, sería el letter B si estuviéramos hablando de he, she o it, ¿verdad? Porque le agregamos la S al verbo en la oración um, afirmativa del eh, presente. Uh -huh. Pero como estamos hablando de you, entonces el letter A, it. A. Do you always eat breakfast? Yes, I do. Ok, 14. Where are they? Are they here? No, they don't, aren't, doesn't. Vea cuál aren't, ¿verdad? Porque es el lugar que estamos usando acá y solo le agregamos be. el negativo, letter B. Uh -huh. No, they aren't. Let it be. Ok, 15. Is today Monday? No, doesn't. No, is. Yes, is. No creo. No, is. Letter A yeah, or C. Yeah. Sí. No, is. Sí, sí, ¿verdad? Yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it is. Okay, and the last one, number 16. Are these questions easy? Yes, they are, do or does? Letter A, B, or C? Yes, yes, they are. Yes, they are. Letter A. Very good. Congratulations for you. You did a great job answering the yes, no questions, please. Okay, now. Now is your turn. Okay. It says, read the text and answer the questions. I'm going to mute you just to give the explanation about this exercise, okay? Okay, so, it says, lea el texto y conteste las preguntas. It's a very short text. Es un texto bien corto. So, I will ask you to please take a picture. Le voy a pedir si por favor podemos tomar una imagen of this. Uh, part that I'm projecting now in the, in the screen, on the screen. Okay, I'm sending to you now, but if you can have a better picture than mine, it's okay. Okay, perfect. It says, Peter, Peter Baker is from Manchester, but Paul and John are from London. Manchester and London are cities in England. Hamburg is a city in Germany. Sandra is at school today. Jack and Peter are her friends. They are in the same class. Mr. and Mrs. Baker are on a trip to the U.S. to visit their, own co their cousin, Anne. She's a nice girl. Peter says, my grandfather is in hospital. I am at home with my grandmother. What time is it? It is eight o'clock. Are you tired? No, I am not. So the questions from this little paragraph for you to answer is, is Paul from London? Is Hamburg in England? Are Peter and Sandra friends? 
are Mr. and Mrs. Baker in London? Is Peter tired? Entonces, como estamos hablando de Peter, si la respuesta es afirmativa sería yes. ¿Qué te pasó? He is, ¿verdad? Y si la respuesta es negativa sería no. He's not or he isn't, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, so I'm going to invite you to go to the breakout rooms to read the paragraph and to try to answer these five questions. So, do you have questions about the exercise? ¿Tenemos preguntas acerca del ejercicio? You have to read it and you need to provide the answers for these one, two, three, four, five questions using affirmative or negative yes, no questions. And since we are talking about Paul, okay, in this case, for example, in letter A, the possible affirmative answer is yes, he is, or no, he isn't. And then you continue looking who is the subject of the sentence, or which is the verb, the, the form of the verb to be that we are using, if it is or if, it's, if it is are, okay? So let me stop sharing. And I'm going to divide you in a breakout rooms now. So let me send you to collaborate and complete the exercise. Thank you very much for joining. I will go and see around. How are you working with this exercise? Glam, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Glam. Creo que uh -huh. es no, porque dice Hamburgo es de es una es city in Germany. Uh -huh. Hamburgo is city. No. No. Yeah. 
No is not, ¿verdad? O is, porque estamos hablando del lugar, sería it. ¿Es Hamburg en in inglés? No. No, no, it. It isn't, ¿verdad? No, it is. Because it's no. in Germany, right? Okay. Okay. No, it isn't. Excellent. Very good. Just continue. Continuemos. Okay. Okay. Do you have extra okay. questions? Tenemos más preguntas? No. Por el momento no. Nos cuesta un poquito, pero ahí vamos. Yeah, that's the idea that you can try to elaborate by yourself. Do you have a new vocabulary or new words that you would like to define from the paragraph? ¿Hay palabras nuevas o que no sean conocidas para ustedes que les gustaría que las eh, veamos? ¿El párrafo? Ok, ya sé que Como no quedó. Hola, teacher. Hello, my dears. Do you have questions? Um, ay, era mentira, seguramente. No, 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 <laughs> no, no quizás el número en number en quiero ver. D. En la D are Mr. and Mr. Baker en Londres. Pero ya ahí la compañera Briselda, Briselda, ¿verdad? Sí, Briselda estaba mencionando, bueno, y creo que aquí al principio tenía dudas quiénes son, no los leo acá, pero ya. Thank you. Dice, Miss and Mr. Baker are in London. Yes, so the answer is yes, they, they are, right? Yes, they are. Eh, Manch Manchester está en London. No, no. Uh, yes, Manchester, yes. Hamburg, Hamburg is in Germany, it's not in London. Ah, ok, es que eso es lo que no sabíamos. Entonces sí. sería así. La pregunta es, ¿is Hamburg in England? So the answer is no, it isn't, right? Hamburg ah, es que, no, es que dice que si los bakers son de London, pero dice que los bakers andan de paseo por Estados Unidos. Ajá, but, pero, they, but maybe pero, they are from London, right? De al principio dice que Peter Baker is from Manchester. Yes, Manchester is an is a city in uh, London. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So the answer <laughs> is yes. 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 Okay. Uh, but it says are Mr. and Mrs. Baker in London. Pero vea la pregunta, no dice son de, sino no dice are Mr. Mm -hmm. and Mrs. Baker from London. Entonces ah, la okay. respuesta es no. ¿Verdad? Porque dice are Mr. and Mrs. Baker in London? No. They are in the US. Mm, they Unidos, ¿verdad? Entonces sería, no, they aren't. They mm. are from London. Esa es la siguiente clase de la eh, parte de la clase que vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Decir de dónde somos. En no, es que el, el texto dice de que los Bakers are on trip to the USA, pero uh -huh. ellos son de Manchester. Exacto. Entonces, eh, aunque they are from London, en from Manchester, but now they are in the U.S., right? Ah, okay. Okay, okay, yeah, okay. Yeah. So that's the okay. point, that they are okay. from London, but now they are in the U.S. So um, the, the answer to the question, are Mr. and Mrs. Baker in London? Is no, they are not. They are on a trip in the U.S. Okay. Ah, okay. 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 Excellent. Gracias. Excellent. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Creo que eso entendí. A ver. Sí. Yes. Ay, no. 
Bueno. Hello, how is it going? Hello. <laughs> Hello. Is everything okay? Are you about to finish? <laughs> More or less. More or less. Okay. Yes. Do you have questions about the paragraph or some meaning, a new word that you would like that I can okay. help? Mr. and Mrs. Baker are on a trip uh, to the in USA Orlando. to visit their cousin. Uh, mm -hmm. Entonces, are uh, Mr. and Mrs. Baker in Orlando? No, they aren't. Sí. Uh -huh, sí, es no correcto. Sé. No, they aren't. ¿Verdad? Yeah. Esto les Pero está dice, No, they aren't. Eso estaba dando yeah. confusión en otro grupo, chicos, pero la respuesta correcta es, correcta es no, they aren't. Yes, uh, no, no, they, they aren't. aren't. They are from London. Ellos yeah. son originarios yeah. de London, but now they are in the U.S. on a trip. Uh, pero yeah, ahora ellos están en Estados Unidos en un viaje. Entonces, la pregunta es, ¿are Mr. and Mrs. Baker in London? ¿Están el señor y la señora Baker yes. en London? No. Yes. They are, no. they are in the United States yes. right now. Yes, they are in okay. the United States on a trip. Okay. Excellent. Okay. Like it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> See you in a minute then. Uh, the yes, they are. They, yes, they are. The D. The C. And D. Um, oh. Let me see the classmate, Mr. and Mr. Baker are on trip to the U.S. visit to their coaching again. Um, the, uh, um, excuse me. Uh, no, no, they, no, they aren't. No. Excuse me. Hello, hello, hello. How is it going? Do you have questions? Tenemos preguntas? No. Okay. It's okay. Excellent. See you in a it's minute. Okay. okay? So I think okay. that you're about thank to finish. You. Okay, thank you. Okay, excellent. Excuse me. So sorry. And uh, C? Uh, yes, they are. Yes? Yes, they, yes, they are. Hello, welcome back. Let's wait a minute for the people to join us. They are finishing their exercise. So in a minute, they are going to come back. Okay, so let me share the, the reading in order that you can tell us. How was the reading? Was it difficult or easy? Difficult, fácil? Let me tell you. Let me listen to you. Déjenme escucharlos. So, so. <laughs> okay, the idea is that you can get familiar with readings, uh, short readings like this, uh, and according to the topic. In this case, the topic was yes, no questions with the verb be, right? So, uh, who would like to answer the first question? Is Paul from London? Who has the answer? ¿Quién tiene yes, la he is. Yes, he is, ¿verdad? Yes, he is. Okay, uh, letter B. Is Hamburg in England? No, he is, isn't. No, it isn't, ¿verdad? No, it isn't, porque esa ciudad es in Germany, not in, uh, mm -hmm. in England, okay? Are Peter and Sandra friends? No, they aren't. No, they are. Yes, they are. Yes, they are. It, it says... Sandra is at school today. Jack and Peter are her friends. Yes, yes they are. Okay. So that means that they are friends. Yes. Los amigos de ella son Peter y Jack. So yes. that's true. They are friends. Okay. Number letter D. Are Mr. and Mrs. Baker in London? No, they are. No, they aren't. No, they no, aren't. They aren't. Exactly. Because they are from London, but right now they are in the US on a trip. So the right yes. answer is no, they aren't. In the last, in the last one, is Peter tired? 
No, he's not. No, no he's okay. not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Or no, he isn't, right? Okay, excellent. So I congratulate you because you were able to find the, the right yes, no answers to these questions, okay? So let me advance and uh, complete this part with these questions. These are very, um, these are yes, no questions, right? For example, are you from Colombia? If they ask me, I say, no, I am not. I am from El Salvador. I just have two possible choices, yes or no. Is your computer broken? I say, no, my computer is okay right now. No, it is not, right? no, it is not. It is working right now. Is your mom in Mexico? No, she's not. Oh. She is in Salvador. Are you happy? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am happy oh, teaching <laughs> my students. English. Are you happy? Okay. Is English important? Yes. It is. Yes. It, it, yes, yes. It is. It's yes. very important. Very important. Okay. Is soccer? Is soccer your favorite sport? Yes. Yes. Maybe no, some of you yes isn't. say yes, yes. Is, or no. No, it isn't. isn't. Okay, <laughs> it depends on you. It's up to you, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Okay, so let me move on from this topic in advance to the next part before the class finishes because we just have like eight minutes in order to finish. But I want to introduce this part. Where are you from? If you see, we have been working with, with questions that are yes, no questions because you only can say yes or no. But in this case, we are going to move on to information questions. When the people ask us, where are you from? They expect an answer. For example, I am from Greece, right? So if you see here the flags, podemos ver las banderitas, the flags? Yes. Excuse yes. me here, okay. I am from Greece. I am Greek. Greece. Greece. Yeah? Greek. Greece. Eh, soy de Grecia. La primera parte es el nombre del país. Y la segunda mm -hmm. es la nationality, right? I am from mm -hmm. Greece. I am Greek. I am Greek. Okay? Greek. The second one. Where yeah, are you from? from China. I am I'm from, from China. China. I am from China. 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 I am China. Chinese. I am Chinese. I am Chinese. Yes, where I am Chinese. I am from Italy. I am Italian. I am Italian. Where are you from? I am from Spanish. I am Spanish. I am Spanish. Where are you from? I am from Germany. I am German. And the love. Where are you from? I am from El Salvador. I am Salvadorian. I am Salvadorian. Salvadorian. Okay, excellent, very good. So this is as, uh, an answer uh, giving your, uh, the, the name of your country and your nationality. Uh, for example, if there's a conversation with another person, you can say, uh, a person can ask you, hello, where are you from? I am from El Salvador, I am Salvadorian. What is well, your national sure dish? National. Our national dish is pupusas. It's pupusas. What language do you speak? In Salvador, we speak Spanish. 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 Okay, we speak Spanish. Spanish. Okay. So if you see, when they ask where or what, we need to provide yes, more information. Okay. So look, I have here another example. Hi, my name is Tom. I am from Peru. I am Peruvian. Peruvian. This is my yes. friend Robert. He's from Mexico. He is He's Mexican. Mexican. Okay. I say the name of the country and then I say the nationality. And that's it. Okay. So uh, remember that the difference between a yes no question and a WH question is that in the first one you only have to answer yes no. But in these ones, you have to provide a very full um, uh, answer, right? Okay. So, um, let I, I would like to ask you if you have questions. Do you have questions uh, regarding to yes, no questions and information questions? Eh, tenemos preguntas acerca del tema, verdad? Hemos visto las respuestas 
Este, las preguntas y respuestas cortas de sí y no, que se utiliza el verbo to be. Y también vimos que utilizamos el verbo to be con sus respectivas formas de conjugar, ¿verdad? Am para I, is para he, she, it, y are para todos los demás pronombres, ¿verdad? Para you, we y they. También vimos algunos ejemplos de yes, no questions con el verbo do, ¿verdad? Utilizando do it, y does. Does lo utilizamos para he, she, it. Y para I, you, we y they utilizamos do. Entonces vimos que en aquellos la respuesta es yes, I do o no, I don't. Yes, I am o no, I'm not. ¿Verdad? Only. But in here, when we use a WH word like where or what, I need to provide more information. Okay? So that's the difference between the yes, no questions and the WH words or information questions. Okay? Uh, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas. No? Okay, in the platform, in the platform I, I would like to please, uh, I'm going to stop sharing this and I will go back fastly to the platform because there's no much time, but I would like to show you. Okay, please, uh, we need to advance until the 3.4 knowledge check, okay? Uh, again, uh, we already talk about the first one, but you need to complete all the conversations. In this case, you have a second conversation, right? Second, and then even a third conversation. There are three conversations, right? So it's very important that you advance and complete this part because for tomorrow, we are going to talk about the syllable stress, okay? Syllable stress. So for tomorrow, we are going to cover uh, 3.5, right? So you need to advance in order that you don't feel that you have a lot of work to do uh, after um, we finish this week. Finish, numbers finish. Okay, yes. Okay, so for tomorrow, it's gonna be 3.5 uh, and 6, uh, syllable stress. And if time allow us, we are going to cover the uh, 3.7, which is related, right? Uh, numbers to talk about ages. Okay. okay, my dears, I thank you very much for coming. Uh, I encourage you to go to the platform and complete all the pending exercises. Remember that this week we are gonna finish uh, this section with the midterm exam included, okay? So if you have questions, I'm going to be available during the weekend for you to contact me and help you if you have difficulties to answer the knowledge check, okay? So, okay, so uh, I think that it's all for now. I just want to thank you again for coming and I hope okay. to see you tomorrow at eight o'clock here, okay? Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Goodbye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.